here is a look at the Aelfang Toys AFT-07 Titanian Saint figure. Uh, you can see it is a, a purple battleship looking ship here. It's got some rotating guns here on the front. It's got foldable landing gear, adjustable landing gear. You can have it stand up. Oh, push that one down. So, uh, yeah, and it comes with a staff and, and some blades, and we'll get into that in a minute how those work. It just came in, no instructions, it just came in this plastic tray, but it is just in a plastic tray packaging uh, inside of a box, obviously. Um, but yeah, so here's the basic ship itself, and you fold these up. Uh, it's got these little gun turrets rotate here on the front, um, as well as side to side, so you can have them fire in very different directions. Um, and these these landing gear here do fold up. Uh, you can fold them all the way up against the thing, fold them up into here, and uh, just have it as kind of a battle cruiser. And it is a battle cruiser, which uh, is kind of cool. It's got a neat, uh, could be Scourge-ish vibe, um, as well as like a, a flying battleship, a lot like a, a you know flying aircraft carrier type uh, thing, which is uh, which is cool. It kind of makes it feel like the character is larger than he actually is, but uh, but it's a neat little ship. Uh, kind of like I said, a little kind of Cybertronian space carrier, you know, with the conning tower and everything up here. Just show it off. It is, for the record, almost exactly eight inches in length. Um, at least, or maybe not seven and a half inches. The angle I was looking at it made it look like that the, the foot was right at the eight, but it is not. Um, it is seven and a half. Actually, I may have been looking at seven and a half and just reading it wrong. That is also possible. So about seven and a half inches long. Uh, at its widest point, it is about four and a half inches wide here on the wings. Uh, the general body is about two and a third, two and a, yeah, two and a third, two and a quarter inches. And then height to the top of the tower is uh, about three and a half, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Just to give you an idea of the dimensions of the ship itself. I don't really have anything really good to compare it to vehicle-wise. So yeah, I'll put these off to here and transform him. Very easy. Um, just come back here, fold these panels out. And uh, th these panels on the back, the conning tower splits in half and folds down flat. These little panels flip back here. And these panels flip back and in as well, just like that. Down here, you lift this up, split these. Now the guns, lift this panel up, and it's kind of, you can see there's a dual hinge here. You fold it up, uh, down, and then up like that. So this now plugs into the back. Should line up properly, there we go, line it up properly. This comes down, the gun faces forward, and the gun assembly rotates back to form the foot. So the gun's kind of stored there in the foot. I guess you could technically flip those up around on the back of the leg as well if you wanted, but it's supposed to sit right there and form the foot. Same on this side. Kind of push that dual hinge up, line it all up. Foot down, bring the guns forward as you fold the foot up. And then rotate this forward here. This piece, you can lift this piece up on the hinge comes in, there's a little peg hole here on the back of this that's gonna peg in back up here. So you fold this landing gear piece up onto the back of the robot mode hips. Coming along pretty nicely. Come up here, uh, lift, rotate the arms out, or lift these purple panels, rotate the arms out, and then these panels fold back and tuck away behind here. The landing gear tucks away back here. Rotate the arms down, rotate them so the gray pad is on the outside, and then right here, this panel, the middle part panel flips up and over, and this flips down and around to form the forearm armor with a gap so that the, the uh, elbow hinge works. Rotate the wrist, the wrist is on a dual hinge here, and then the fingers open. The fingers are all one piece, but they are hinged here. So there's that hand. Same on this side, rotate it down so the screw's in the back. Gray piece on the outside, uh, flip this purple panel all the way forward, and then fold the whole thing around the arm, get these purple pieces back here, 
and then rotate the wrist. And then the shoulder panels here, pull out, slide down, and lock down there over the shoulders. And there you can see you now have Alpha Trion, uh, Titanium Saint. No, Titanium Saint. Saint Titanium. Titanium Saint. I, th I think it's a Titanium Saint. I've seen it listed both different ways, but yeah. So then you've got a cool looking Alpha Trion here. His staff, he comes with a staff. And then, like I said, you've got the two tips for it. I guess you could put one on each end if you wanted. Uh, you plug in the... So you could have it as just a plain purple staff. You could have it with just... Oh, you can take that off and make it a knife too. Um, come on out of there. Actually, it helps with you. There we go. Let's store that back in here. Um, personally, I like to use it with just one end of the staff on. Holds it like a staff, but you can you can plug it together and make a dual weapon if you wished. Um, and it just you can hold it in his hands. And, he, and what I like about it, the way the hands are molded, he actually does end up kind of hanging it, holding it at an ang a slight angle. Uh, the way that like you know, if his hands at rest, it kind of angles down just a little bit. Uh, the way that you might hold something long like that in your hand, you, even when you're holding it tight, you know, it might have a little bit of a rest like that. Um, so he's got the blue kind of matrixy glow on his chest. A cool staff, um, cape on the back, which does articulate so you can kind of get that out of the way for action poses and things like that. Um, actually, it looks like there's another piece that might rotate here. Um, hmm. No, I guess that just, yeah, it doesn't really do much there. Maybe it gets that out of the way. I'm not sure what the, what the purpose of that dual piece there is, but just a hinge I hadn't noticed before when transforming him. You know what, betcha? Oh, there we go. That just folds that piece down along his back. There we go. Just to kind of hold those open in place. But yeah, it's a nice little uh, Alpha Trion figure. I keep banging the desk here. Um, Good sol it's good solid plastic. It feels like an action figure. It doesn't feel like, oh, third party got to gotta carefully handle it or, or anything like that. It, it feels like anything you'd pick up. Maybe not exactly the same as a retail toy, but uh, it, it feels like a nice little Alpha Trion action figure. Uh, he's got some little guns here in his legs that can flip out, kind of a la Fort Max. Oh, I can actually, they can actually come all the way out. Ooh, give him some knee guns. And of course, he's got the guns here in his feet. But yeah, all in all, pretty cool. I mean, he's got a ball jointed head here. Uh, his beard and his helmet limited a little, and the collar limited a little bit. But he does, uh, he does get some good uh, range of motion out of it. Uh, this little, this little matrix piece. If you don't like that, you can pop it off. Personally, I prefer the little matrixy glow there, but it's entirely up to you. Um, he's got dual hinges at the shoulders. He's got a bicep swivel, uh, dual hinged elbows. Here and here. Um, he's got the wrist swivel as well as the back and forth here um, and the opening fingers. He does have a waist swivel, which is nice. Uh, these flaps all move out of the way on the skirt guard. And then he's got the uh, universal hips there, uh, thigh swivel, uh, double hinge knees, and then good front to back on the feet as well as a, a nice ankle tilt. So uh, a lot of good posability out of this guy. Now you'll notice in my hands, if, you, if you've done any size comparisons here, um, he's a little he's a little on the smaller side. This guy's going to fit a lot better with your classics figures uh, than I think than than, than other stuff. But uh, I'll show you height comparison. He is actually to the top of his head. He's almost exactly six inches tall. Uh, if you go right to the top of his horns, it comes right just a little over six inches tall, actually. Um, at his cape, at his widest point here, at his cape, he's about three and a half inches wide. So he's, he's a standard six inch action figure. And ju just for comparison, here he is with Toy World's Orion. 
So you see he's a little small to scale with some of the third-party primes, certainly too small to scale with Masterpiece Prime. Um, here he is with Voyager Optimus. And that's not a huge... You're kind of looking down on him here, so it makes Voyager Prime look a little bit more taller than he actually is. He is taller than, than Alpha Trine. I'm not trying to say that they're comparable in height or anything. But uh doesn't look horrible with Prime, aside from the... Uh, the very, very wildly different aesthetic there. Uh, so that's that's just a quick size comparison just to show you how he relates to uh, common toys on top of the actual uh, physical measurements with the tape, with the, the measuring tape. So yeah, he'll, he'll look good with, I mean, like Voyager, with the classics Voyager Prime, Stan may be a little taller than him, but, uh, but I think those two would look good together. Um, but I really like, he, he looks cartoony he looks like he he's, he looks like alpha trion is, is really what it comes down to um and he's got like i say he's kind of got that battleship -y alt mode which I, I don't know if we've ever even really seen officially alpha trion's alt mode unless you count that botcon 2007 uh repaint of vector prime and that and it's kind of in that same vein I, I i like how his cape kind of still forms those same angles and shapes on his back that the uh that the cybertron version that that uh Vector Prime repaint did, but uh, but all in all, that's a, that's a nice looking Alpha Trion, and and he's fun. I like he, his transformations not overly complex. There were no tricks. There was no oh, how do I get this part past that part? He's a very simple, very basic transformation, but still fun. Has a lot of articulation in him, and uh, and looks like Alpha Trion. Uh, I I know I I know some people are gonna wish he was bigger. I can't say that uh, that's uh, that's an invalid complaint. Um, it would be nice if he scaled. Uh, maybe a little taller to to really match up with with some Voyager class figures. I, th I think a Voyager class would be a good size for him. It would match up in this aesthetic. Would match up with a, with several different toy lines. Um, being a largest deluxe, um, I'm sure is uh, good. And, and I know there are some people who are going to be disappointed by that. But uh, fold those back in too, so you don't see them back out here. But uh, but uh, as a representation of Alpha Trion as an action figure uh, that transforms, he's pretty darn neat. I really like him. I love his glasses. I love his goatee. Um, so yeah, a small, a little smaller than I expected, I think. Uh, but uh, but all in all, still like not disappointing because he's actually pretty cool. He said he's a cool representation of Alpha Trion, and I can't that. That kind of does it for me. I like that's really all I needed him to be. But yeah, he's, like you said, he's he's solid. He's good. I don't notice anything that I'm like, oh, if they don't do this right, that piece is going to be a problem. Like like I see on some things, it's uh, it's it's a very basic but straightforward Alpha Trion. So there it is, the Afang Toys AFT zero seven, uh, Titanium Saint Alpha Trion. And uh, you can get him uh, thanks to uh, Toymoda for sponsoring this, getting this uh, sample to me, uh, Toymoda.com. You'll saw their logo at the opening. Um, it's available there. It's available at TF Source. Um, and you'll see some of those links down in the description. Yep, hold on to your staff. I had a, He is kind of a robo Gandalf. I had him doing some you shall not pass poses earlier just because I could. <laughs> but he's fun. I, I, I'm still recording.